Alright, so I previously finished the general structure of the ski jump and tested it. I now need to finish construction, so it has all its theming and doesn't allow marbles to fly off the machine. The outside edges of the landing ramp look janky with all the awkward lines. I used a long bendy ruler to mark straight lines from the top to the bottom, then cut them with a the mini saw. This tool comes in handy all the time. The landing now gradually widens towards the end, just like a real ski jump. I custom cut pieces to make up the sides of the landing, though I didn't attach them yet because I'll spray paint them outside. While the first coat on the walls were drying, I added the paper surface to the landing, using dabs of hot glue to secure it. I drew on details to the surface of the landing. Ski jumps have markings for different distances from the jump, which plays into the scoring during a competition. I added those same markings to my jump. I also added the Olympic logo near the top. Now with the ski jump hill, you'll often see little green plants sticking up from the snow. This helps the skiers with depth perception as they fly through the air. I added rows of green dots and dashes, just like you'd see on a real jump. As the marbles zoom down the landing, all their energy is transferred into loud clanks as they round the corner. To muffle the noise a bit, I added cork to the walls. From the tests I've run with an unfinished machine, tons of marbles ended up scattered all over the floor. I imagine this won't be the last time I have a bunch of marbles to pick up, so I bought this magnetic sweeper to make quick work of any marble messes. The landing walls were all painted and ready to be attached. Hot glue is going to be my new best friend for these temporary marble machines. Through multiple tests, the marbles kept finding new spots to eject themselves from their designated track, so I countered those moves with extra barriers. The top of the jump tower is way too bland, and needs more theming to spruce it up a bit. When I was doing research for this build, there's one ski jump that I thought looked really cool, and it's kind of the inspiration for the look of this. It's not meant to be an exact recreation, though if you can correctly guess the name of the ski jump or where it's at, I'll pin the comment. Even though I added the Olympic logo, this ski jump has not been used in the Olympics. I mentioned in the past that I had a fix for the noise of the bracket on the marble lift. This is the fix. I picked up these craft foam sheets. They're quite thin, but have enough material to eliminate the clink on the brackets. I had to cut out two strips per bracket, 62 brackets 
124 strips in total. I made a jig to make the process quick and consistent. I attached the foam to the brackets using hot glue. I may need to redo this later with a better adhesive, but for now, we're going to see how well this works. In order for the bracket to lay flat against the side with the rivets, I used a leather punch to make holes. Something else I realized during tests is that many marbles are traveling way too fast going into the grid of nails. This caused some marbles to pop themselves out of bounds. Instead of writing speeding tickets, I added a zigzag speed bump to slow them down. Then I extended the see-through top over this section. The ski jump marble track is all done and themed. So now I needed to add additional scene theming to make it look like it's part of a snowy mountain. First, I added skeletal supports extending out the sides of the landing. To make the snowy terrain, I found this quilt filler fluff. I laid it over the new supports and the table. Last thing to do is add some trees and greenery. All right, this thing is done. Next week, I'll release a cinematic video of the machine in action. So keep an eye out for it. I think it'd be pretty cool. Patrons already have the opportunity to see it right now on Patreon. So if you can't wait, you can join there and help me decide what marble machines to build in the future. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. You go away. You go away.